Well, ladies and gentlemen, what a way to start out the night. <clears throat> I mean, hell. We now have a main event of Tyler Bate versus Pete Dunne. Just to, just to give Tyler Bate a try to overcome his past. And he has defeated Pete Dunne in the past. But he hasn't been seen for a number of months here in Rebirth. So ever since that Trent Seven turn, will we be seeing Tyler Bate stand tall? Or will we be seeing a motivated Pete Dunne just, just push off another opponent? We will be seeing. Along with that, ladies and gentlemen, we found out that Roman Reigns has changed the team that is competing in the Undisputed Tag Team Championship Tournament. And instead of the Usos, which, you know, Jimmy can't compete because he got injured, and Jay doesn't want to team up with Sammy, we're going to be seeing authors of pain compete in the tournament later tonight. And now the question is, is how, how will Jay handle that? I mean, J Jay looked utterly pissed. Jay just left. But it seems Sammy has got his side. But we will be seeing once Tribal Court happens, ladies and gentlemen. Because that's the thing. That's, that's going to be the closing thing for tonight. So, who will have each other's back? We will be seeing as all the elders surround the ring. But first up, ladies and gentlemen, our first matchup. Ricky Starks looks oh so ready. Coming out in his casual wear, ladies and gentlemen. This is not an accident. Not at all. I totally didn't forget to, um... Put him in his ring gear. Ricky Starks is competing here tonight against some guy named Chump Change or something. But well, Ricky Starks is here and he is ready. Ready ever since, um, you know, ever since he lost to Isaiah Swerve Scott a number of weeks ago at Clash at the Castle, or at Castle Clash. But will Ricky Starks be able to rebuild and start a new road? Or will Ricky Starks begin the money stacks stacked upon him? We will be seeing in our opening contest. Oh, Ricky Starks, all oh, flying clothesline, jeans and all. Oh my gosh. Ricky, going up. Hey, oh, oh, block buster. Corner now. Oh, lifting up. Chump change. Oh, shoulder down. Oh, elbow. And he stacks them for the one, two, three. And Ricky Starks earns his way. But it seems he's got something to say as he's picking up the microphone right now. Starks looks ready to go, ready to compete for the United Nations Championship. Oh my god! It is Christian. Oh, Cage. Oh my god. Oh my god, just taking the hammer down. Oh, what the hell is going to be happening here, ladies and gentlemen? Oh shit, ladies and gentlemen. What 
the hell is this gonna be? Oh, oh my god. No! The Andreas on the chair leg. Oh my god. What? Oh. Jesus Christ, again? Oh, Christian, waiting until Ricky Starks come to. Oh, oh no. No! Oh my god! And Christian Cage just telling him, Oh, you're really gonna disrespect my title like that? Fine. And folks, you may be asking what I just said. What do you mean Christian's title? Christian is the current TNT champion. Or at least in his mind. He does have a champion, but he acts like he is a champion. But Ricky Starks got a message to never disrespect a champion. And Christian Cage showed him. But the question is now, is will Ricky Starks be trying to get a TNT championship under his belt by Seattle? Or will we be some seeing something else, ladies and gentlemen? We will be seeing. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, we move to the back. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Bate just letting, it seems like, I, I don't think I mentioned this in the first match, but, actually, no, I did. I did. I think. But, anyway, actually, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's reset. But LA Knight just letting the people know that no one can stop him. Now that he has the money in the bank briefcase, yeah, he will only plan on winning. But one one person who is looking to recapture that quote-unquote perfection is Dolph Ziggler. And a win over the money in the bank holder will halt their momentum and gain theirs. But that's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Dolph Ziggler wants to win the money in the bank briefcase, and he doesn't care how. He doesn't want to face five other men. No, no, no. He wants to face one, and that's the current holder. So, will this will this match take place in Seattle for the Money in the Bank briefcase? Or will LA Knight be losing it earlier? We will be soon. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to our next competition. And that's going to be Ricochet in action against Mustafa Ali. And now Mustafa Ali, he's been looking to prove himself, you know, each and every time he steps on to the ring. But tonight, he's looking to really prove himself, especially after a man, or against a man who wants to become North American champion. Because Ali also wants championship gold. He's been Cruiserweight champion before, but he wants to go up and up and above that. He wants to become undisputed champion, United Nations champion. And hell, if he can find the right partner, the undisputed tag team champion. But that just doesn't happen because you're gonna say it. You need to do something to prove your worth. So, can he earn himself a victory here tonight against Ricochet? We will be seeing. Yeah. You know, this matchup. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, oh drop salt on there. Oh, drop salt. There we go. 
Probably not taking advantage of the moment. Oh, but he is able to just get out of the way. Oh shit. Oh, no one there. Oh, oh my god. Just rolling out of each other's way. Drop kick. All leap. Taunting though. Oh, flight clothesline rolls him over. Oh, trying. Oh, 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 caught him. Off the ropes. Over. Oh, oh shit. Oh, spine buster by Ricochet. Ricochet going up now. Oh shit. Oh, hurricane on him. Ricochet going out now. Waking up Ollie. Springboard clothesline. Picking up Ollie now. Sending him into the, oh nope, spinning back kick. Spinning back kick. Ah, oh, knee to the back. Tricep stomp now. I mean, I would've went for the legs. That's just me though. Ollie spending too much time taunting. God, that seems to be a lot. A problem with a lot of the competitors. Here in Rebirth, oh here it crashed, god damn. But Rishi just pulls himself up on instinct. Shot to the gut. Oh, moves on. Oh, over there. Oh, blocked. Off. Oh. Whoa. Oh, Pulls. Sends it off. Springboard. Oh. Springboard clothesline once more. And as Ollie climbs towards the ropes, towards the corner. Oh, shit. Oh, shoulder tackles, Ricochet. Off the ropes now. Oh, uppercut. Brutal uppercut. Ollie going for the pin after knocking the breath out of Ricochet. But Ricochet kicks out because he has so much resiliency. Oh, shit. Oh, <laughs> hey, leg <Lake> kick. <laughs> Shit, Ricochet. Oh, hurt, Nirvana. Oh, shit. Putting him up. Oh. 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 Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Spanish fly. Which sets him up for the... Shooting star press. And Ricochet, get a little cocky. Going up for the six thirty. Oh. One, two. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems that Ricochet is going to be needing a new move because that usually puts away his opponent. Oh, spinning elbow. Knocks out Ollie. Oh, gets out of the way. Ollie does a oh, super kick right upside the jaw. Now a bicep knee. Oh, oh, so, oh my god. That, that dumbfounded Ricochet. Holy shit. Oh my god. A modified curb stomp. Oh, oh, uppercut. Oh, but no. Nobody there. Whoa. Oh, shit, sent on. Oh, shit, where are we going now? Where are we going now? Oh, you know, just oh, set up power level on the outside. Ricochet, Ricochet. Not gonna run. Oh, shit. <laughs> Springboard shooting star press. Now into the ring. Oh, my God. Ricochet now heading up. Oh, 630 again. That one's got to be it. One, two, three, and Ricochet 
wins himself some momentum against a tough opponent. I mean, we saw how much Hart was going there for Ollie. But ladies and gentlemen, Hart matters. It doesn't really matter until you start to use it to overcome your challenges. So, will this be a stepping stone towards all Lee's next challenge and what he wants to do? We will be seeing. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, it seems that Paul Heyman has something to stay on. To ricochet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Heyman letting Ricochet know how he'll earn his United Nations Championship match. And that's with a match against AOP's uh, Acom next week. And if he can defeat him, then he's got his match in Seattle. But will he be able to, ladies and gentlemen? We will find out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Tyler Bate just letting, it seems like, I, I don't think I mentioned this in the first match, but, actually no, I did, I did, I think, but, anyway, actually, I don't know what I'm doing, <laughs> let's reset, but LA Knight just letting the people know that no one can stop him. Now that he has the money in the bank briefcase, yeah, he will only plan on winning. But one one person who is looking to recapture that quote-unquote perfection is Dolph Ziggler. And a win over the money in the bank holder will halt their momentum and gain theirs. But that's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. Dolph Ziggler wants to win the money in the bank briefcase, and he doesn't care how. He doesn't want to face five other men. No, no, no. He wants to face one, and that's the current holder. So, will this will this match take place in Seattle for the Money in the Bank briefcase? Or will LA Knight be losing it earlier? We will be seeing. But until then, ladies and gentlemen, we move on to our next competition. And that's going to be Ricochet. 
in action against Mustafa Ali. And now Mustafa Ali, he's been looking to prove himself, you know, each and every time he steps out into the ring. But tonight, he's looking to really prove himself, especially after a man, or against a man who wants to become North American champion. Because Ali also wants championship gold. He's been in Cruiserweight champion before, but he wants to go up and up and above that. He wants to become undisputed champion, United Nations champion. And the hell, if he can find the right partner, the undisputed tag team champion. But that just doesn't happen because you're gonna say it. You need to do something to prove your worth. So, can he earn himself a victory here tonight against Ricochet? We will be seeing, you know, this matchup. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, I'll drop salt on there. Oh, drop salt. There we go. Ali not taking advantage of the moment. Oh, but he is able to just get out of the way. Oh, shit. Oh, no one there. Oh, oh, my God. Just rolling out of each other's way. Drop kick. Ali. Taunting though. Oh, flight clothesline rolls him over. Oh, trying. Oh, 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 caught him. Off the ropes. Over. Oh, oh shit. Oh, spine buster by Ricochet. Ricochet going up now. Oh shit. Oh, hurt. Him. Ricochet going out now. Waking up, Ollie. Springboard clothesline. Picking up Ollie now. Sending him into the. Oh, nope. Spinning back kick. Spinning back kick. Ah, oh, knee to the back. Tricep stomp now. You know, I would have went for the legs. That's just me, though. Ollie spending too much time taunting. God, that seems to be a lot. A problem with a lot of the competitors here in Rebirth. Oh, here it crashed. God damn. But Ricochet just pulls himself up on instinct. Shot to the gut. Oh, moves on. Oh, over there. Oh, blocked. Off. Oh. Whoa. Oh, sends it off. Springboard. Oh, springboard clothesline once more. And as Ollie climbs towards the ropes, towards the corner. Oh shit! Oh, shoulder tackles, Ricochet. Off the ropes now. Oh, uppercut. Brutal uppercut. Ollie going for the pin after knocking the breath out of Ricochet, but Ricochet kicks out because he has so much. Resiliency. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> Pele kick. <laughs> Shipwreck Shay. Oh, hurt, Nirvana. Oh shit. Putting him up. Oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Spanish fly! Which sets him up for the shooting star press. Rickshay, get a little cocky. Going up for the six. 30! Oh! One, two. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems that Ricochet is gonna be needing a new move because that usually puts away his opponent. Oh, spinning elbow. Knocks out Ollie. Oh, gets out of the way. All he does. Oh, super kick right upside the jaw. Now a bicep knee. Oh, oh, oh my god, that 
that dumbfounded ricochet. Holy shit. Oh my god. A modified curb stomp. Oh, oh, I'm cut. Oh, but no. Nobody there. Woo! Oh, shit. Sent on. <laughs> Oh shit, where are we going now? Where are we going now? Oh, you know, just all set up power level on the outside. Ricochet, ricochet. Not gonna run. Oh shit, oh. <laughs> Springboard shooting star press. Now into the ring. Oh my god. Ricochet now heading up. Oh, six. 30 again. That one's got to be it. One, two, three. And Ricochet wins himself some momentum against a tough opponent. And I mean, we saw how much heart was going there for Ollie. But, ladies and gentlemen, heart matters. Doesn't really matter until you start to use it to overcome your challenges. So, will this be a stepping stone towards all Lee's next challenge and what he wants to do? We will be seeing. Until then, ladies and gentlemen, it seems that Paul Heyman has something to stay on. To Ricochet. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Paul Heyman letting Ricochet know how he'll earn his United Nations Championship match. And that's with a match against AOP's uh, Acom next week. And if he can defeat him, then he's got his match in Seattle. But will he be able to, ladies and gentlemen? We will find out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, well, ladies and gentlemen, seems like Seamus wants to get back at Pete Dunne, but right now he's going to have to deal with Chris Jericho. 
Will that go down Jericho's way? Or will Jericho have a continuing streak of losses? We will be seeing. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to get into the main event of tonight's show. Tyler Bate wants to prove himself here tonight. Wants to prove himself against a former loss. Pete Dunn. And he also wants to be competing for the Undisputed Championship. And I don't know if he can uh, take down a ravaged bruiser weight, but you know, you never know. Things happen in Rebirth that, uh, you know, n nobody knows what's going to happen until it happens. So, will Pete Dunne be eating a loss here tonight? And will Walter be seeing his next opponent in tonight's matchup? Or will Pete Dunne just uh, break his nose, break his neck? And break every finger and toe here in the series, here in the match that Tyler Bate has. We will be seeing. Oh, yes, we will. But also, ladies and gentlemen, a thought just popped into mind. You know, I believe we haven't seen Walter for a number of weeks. And this man, you know, he is very busy, very, you know, you know, he likes to take his time off. He likes to spend time with his family. But when it's time to go, he's ready to go. And the last time we saw him was when he let Pete Dunn know what type of match they will be having in Seattle. And that is going to be a last man standing match, which we haven't seen one of those since. Since. Walter took on Lance Archer at one night stand within his first Undisputed Championship, you know, within his first year. So, will Pete Dunn be showcasing what's going to come for Walter on that night? Or will Tyler Bay be slotting himself in line for a number one contender match? In the show tonight, we will be seeing, I mean, that makes you wonder, if you get a pinfall over the number one contender, doesn't that just slot you in for a title match? Makes you think. Makes you think. Oh, but Tyler Bate going for the abdominal stretch, but Pete Dunn just getting out of it quickly. The turnover. Oh, a oh, pump kick misses. Oh, shit. Throws him off. Oh, fuck. Oh, big boot. Dodged. Oh, my God. These two know each other so well. Oh, but Pete, Tyler Bate catches Pete Dunn with a couple, with a couple punches and jabs and an uppercut. And I'm, oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, there's a cat crawling in front of the screen on my end. Oh, kick out. Pete Dunn rolls to the apron. Rolls to the outside. Oh shit! Oh, Tyler Bates suicide dive. God, what a suicide dive from Tyler Bates. Picking up Pete Dunn. Bringing everything to Pete Dunn. Oh shit. Oh, oh. Whoa, oh, the rampage. Oh my god. Oh, oh, trying to break the neck of the bruiser weight. God, just driving the head and neck and everything into that. Oh, rampage. Oh, taint tickler to the back of the arm. Oh, into the barricade. Oh, but Pete Dunn stops himself. Oh, 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 oh no. Big snout. No, 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 this is not good. This is not good. No. Oh, stomped on the back of the neck. You know what else isn't good, ladies and ge uh, gentlemen? What the hell does Pete Dunn have planned here? No! Oh! oh! On the chair! Oh my god, Tyler Bate is just getting up. Oh, into the barricade. God damn, Tyler Bates somehow using that to re-energize his body. Throwing Pete Dunn into the barricade. Oh, now we're into the announce table. Good thing he didn't catch that corner. Oh, into the ring now. Count nine. Ten. Oh, shit. Oh, elbow. Oh. He done didn't even know that was coming. Going for the pinfall. One. Oh, kick out. He done letting it stew a bit. He can kick out before two. But, ladies and gentlemen, you gotta let you kick out Stu. And Pete Dunn's a pro at that. 
foot, and he can also. Oh shit, the butt fuck. The butt fuck. Oh, the butt fuck. Submission hold. Oh no. This makes any man submit and come to terms with himself. Oh, but not Pete Dunn, Pete Dunn, not letting that happen. Oh shit, throwing Tyler Bay into the corner. Oh, it's a gurgle. Oh my god. Vicious Insiguri. Now throwing him into the opposite corner. Oh my god. Again with the Insiguri. Just rebounding him like a game of Pong. Oh, oh! <laughs> Whip for spear. Oh! Went right into the corner. Oh no. Oh no. Knee driver. Oh my god. Just working on the leg now. That is not good. Especially for Pete Dunn's preparations for his match with Walter at the end of this, of this month, ladies and gentlemen. Well, said next month. Oh my god, spinal tap by Tyler Bate. No pinfall. But now there is, but will there momentary hesitation cost him? Yes, it will. Oh, kick out. Oh, oh no, Pete Dunn. Oh, gets his finger snapped. Oh, drop kick. Tyler Bate is on roll. Pete Dunn moves to the outside. Oh, Tyler Bate waking up the bruiserweight. Is this a good idea? Shoes that time. Oh no, it's not. Oh god, that that's gotta hurt. Oh, Pete Dunn. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Force me out. Oh, but Pete Dunn just right there. Back up and at him. Springboard moonsault. Oh no, that wasn't a springboard, that was just a moonsault from the apron. Pete Dunn going up. Oh, oh. Trying to get him. Oh, shot to the face. Oh, Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn. Oh. <laughs> God damn. Oh, Tyler Bay going up again. Let's get for another spinal tap. Oh, I'm guessing Will Owen hits again. One. Two. Oh. <laughs> Kick out. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tyler Bate going up again. Oh my god. Oh, nobody there for the headbutt. Oh no. This is not good. Oh, but somebody is there for the X. Flex. Oh, and that is the Bruiser White. Bate. Done. Oh. Oh, oh, pinfall. One, two, three. And Pete Dunn wins. Earning more momentum towards his championship match. But man, oh man, what a match of seasoned veterans, ladies and gentlemen. God damn. Really makes you think. Just really makes you think. If these two went together for the titles... How would it go down? Well, ladies and gentlemen, Pete Dunn is just coming right to the camera and telling Walter how it will go down at Seattle. Man, this is a next bit, next level momentum coming from Pete Dunn. I really wonder if Pete Dunn will be the one to do it. We will see next time. Oh my god, it's Walter. Oh, drop kick. Oh my god, Walter. Just here and not taking any more back talk. No, no, no. He's heard enough. Walter even yelling at Pete Dunn. So, like, oh, really? Yeah, such high talk. Such high talk. When I've beaten you before. Walter yelling at him to get up. Oh shit. Tank. Bomb. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, Walter sends a message, but also does Pete Dunn. But now the question is, is will Pete Dunn use this as momentum for his match in Seattle? We will be seeing. But until then, this has been Rebirth.